Question 8. Nitrogen and carbon monoxide both have the same molar mass, which is 28. The boiling point of nitrogen is um, 77 Kelvin. And the boiling point of the carbon monoxide is 82 Kelvin. What could be responsible for this difference in boiling point? Boiling point, we know that most likely is related to the Van der Waals forces, means the intermolecular forces. And for these two molecules, we know that nitrogen uh, is the non-polar molecule because the <clears throat> nitrogen atoms they have the same electronegativity. So no dipole in the molecule or no net dipole. So therefore, between the molecules is just the ID ID forces, induced dipole uh, forces. Okay. And this is the weakest intermolecular force. For the carbon monoxide, we know that the electronegativity uh, between the carbon and oxygen is different. Oxygen is more electronegative, so we know that it will be the net dipole in the carbon monoxide. When there is a net dipole, therefore, it will be the uh, PDPD forces between the molecules because the carbon monoxide is a polar molecule and between the molecules, it has a permanent dipole, permanent, permanent dipole forces. This is the main reason. Okay, therefore, the answer is A. Okay, let's uh, discuss B, C, D, C, uh, why is not the answer. Okay, nitrogen has a sigma and pi bond. And the carbon monoxide has sigma bonds only. This statement is wrong. Because the carbon monoxide uh, is uh, is uh, actually uh, has a three bonding, three bonding, and for the nitrogen, the triple bond okay it has two pi and one sigma, and carbon monoxide also two pi and one sigma. Uh, this one involves the uh, hybridization of the uh, atom uh, and. Uh, uh, overlaps uh, between the orbitals, uh, whether it's a heads on or it's a sideways overlaps. Okay, to know more details, okay, please uh, refer to your uh, uh, lecturer, maybe, so to have the uh, better explanation on this hybridization. Okay, what I can tell you here is, uh, whenever there is a, a general guideline for you is, whenever you see uh, multiple bonds, between the atom so it must be uh, at least it must be one sigma bond and it must have pi bond if it's just one bond between the uh, elements so that one will be the sigma bond this is the general guide I can tell you okay so uh, therefore for this B uh, this this uh, statement is wrong because CO actually is has the pi bond, right? So it is wrong. Okay, for C, the nitrogen has a strong N N triple bond, and the CO has a CO double bond. Uh, so we we not really uh, uh let's uh focus on the triple bond or double bond. Uh, for this statement, when uh, we try to discuss the bond energy or the bond strength, so it's definitely not the answer. Because the boiling point is actually uh, the more to the intermolecular force, not the covalent bond between the atoms. So therefore, this will not, this cannot be the answer. Okay, it's not about covalent bond between the atom, it's about the intermolecular force. For D, the CO molecule has more electrons than the uh, nitrogen molecule. Uh, this one also uh, is not correct. Uh, it's actually equal because we know that the total 
protons in this CO is 14, therefore electrons also 14. For nitrogen, total protons also 14, electrons also need to be 14. So actually they have the same electrons number. Right, so D also wrong. Okay, confirm answer is A. Okay, that's all. Thank you.